in Los Angeles at the Crypto Invest Summit speaking with Tim Curry, or you might know him online as Tim Tation. And you've been in this industry for quite a while, Tim, and you do a lot of education and a lot of outreach. Tell me a little bit about you and your history. Sure. I, uh, I got interested in uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, in Mar on March 15th of 2013. A friend had been talking about it for about two weeks and came back and said, hey, have you checked out Bitcoin? And for the first time, I actually went, I started listening to Sam and Andreas Samsonopoulos videos and for about three days straight, it's pretty much all I did. My birthday was the following week and so I called my dad, I'm all, hey dad, uh, for my birthday, I want you to buy me one Bitcoin and you one Bitcoin, Smart. they're $37. And he's like, well, I'm going to uh, on vacation and you know, let's let's talk when I get back. By the time he got back, it was the 1st of April and I had bought my first Bitcoin at $120. Damn, wow. And now- He didn't until he last didn't December. Until last December for how much? <laughs> 10 grand. 10 grand, <laughs> a couple like that, extra yeah. zeros in there. All right, Tim, so blockchain BTM, you're basically the ATM for blockchain, eh? Yeah. So. The most important thing I think right now at this time and era in order to uh, really bring people into this space and educate them on somewhat of a complicated subject is to uh, have them actually use cryptocurrency in order to understand it. So uh, we're all about the onboarding and the educating and so what Blockchain BTM does is uh, we have a cryptocurrency ATM that's traditional like a regular ATM. You see it, you, you can say okay that looks approachable and people are used to that. So you you go up to the machine, you push buy bitcoins, and within about a minute and a half, two minutes, you can walk away with your first cryptocurrency. So, so walk me through that. I I go up to a machine mm -hmm. and I put in my credit card. No, because credit cards are you can charge back, right? So we have to mitigate that Cash. risk because Bitcoin is like a text message. You send a text message because you're angry at your girl, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You, you can't retract that. Right, right. We've all <laughs> so been there. Bitcoin's the same way. So we can't do credit cards because someone can say, oh, that wasn't my credit card or someone else or blah, blah, blah. So what you do is you walk up to the machine. They're often located right next to an ATM. So you pull money out of the ATM and put it right back into the BTM. It says buy coins on the screen. You push the button, you enter your phone number. Uh, it's basically a bank in the box. So there are levels of AML and KYC that are required. But once you put in your number, you receive a text message, you put it in, agree to the terms and conditions, and it says buy coins. You want Bitcoin, you want Litecoin. Right. Yep. Wow. Okay, Tim. So tell me a little bit about your outreach program in Africa. Sure. So uh, I began an outreach uh, in Africa in 2014 with some friends, and we wanted. We noticed that there was some little Bitcoin projects that were going on in Sierra Leone to fight Ebola at the time. Uh, in Ghana, there was uh, the Bitcoin boys out of Accra that were kind of you know getting some stories and and trying to open the first uh, BTC Ghana exchange, which which they did. Uh, in uh, Botswana, there was Lady Bitcoin Botswana. Swana, who's known all throughout Africa, uh, her name is Alakanani at Cheerling, and she has now started Satoshi Center Party Limited, but all of this came back to what our idea was, is to put people on the same page, share information, data, create a network, uh, we called it AutoNet for African Umbrella Trust Organization and Network. So the trust was that we bring participants in and we create trust amongst us and we look out for each other. Well, if people, I'm sure they are interested in learning more about you, learning about all of your projects, because these are just a few of your many projects, yeah. tell us where we can find you. So you can find us at blockchainbtm.com. That'll have our team, our profile. We just brought on a new CTO. It's an exciting project. Uh, we have a plans to have a thousand machines by 2022 across the U.S. We have some plans for other expansions, but that's our uh, focus right now. You could also see, uh, listen to rather, newafricaradio.net, which has both indigenous and global content that's syndicated, uh, but more for the target of Africa. Because when you see the world, we can do this in Venezuela or Argentina or or Iran or Turkey, but can you point to those on a map? A lot of people can't. But when you look at the map or the globe and you see Africa, that's one seventh of the world. And there's capital controls, there's a lot of hyperinflation in a lot of the countries, etc. So that's something that's tangible. And once we have that accomplished, then we'll move to India and do the same thing and build it from the ground up, grassroots style, kind of like pirate radio. Awesome. You're doing a lot for a lot of people. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank All you. All right. Thanks for watching Exploring the Block.